Alrighty, so the Netflix Death Note movie came out uh, at midnight. Uh, I just finished watching it not too terribly long ago. So, as somebody who isn't terribly familiar with the source material, uh, I've only seen like three or four episodes of the anime, I can't really speak to how good of uh, a direct adaptation it is. I can only speak to the quality of the film for somebody who's not initiated into uh, the Death Note uh, manga or anime. And as a movie, it's... I mean, it's it's pretty much average. It's There's nothing special about it. Um, I mean, I enjoyed probably 70% of it. There's chunks of it where I just found it boring and, and didn't keep my interest. Considering the movie's only an hour and 40 minutes, that's kind of horrible. Um, my thing with this movie is they should have either cut 10 minutes to give it a faster pace or add 20 minutes to give it more character development and really give the char the characters a chance to grow and, and have something interesting to do. Um, I've seen a lot of people online really hating on this movie, and I'm sure the vast majority of them are fans of the anime slash manga, and from what I'm getting, it's not a great adaptation, um, to which my argument is simply, yeah, it's not, I'm sure it's not the same, and I'm, my thing is, like, the minute an adaptation like this is announced or is going to be made, you have to distance it from the source material to a certain degree. So if you look at um, other adaptations, good and bad, the good ones don't simply recreate the story beat for beat, shot for shot. That's never a good thing. Uh, having somebody who can take the general premise and the ideas of the material and interpret it in a in a new, fresh way, I think is important. Now, I can't really speak to how effectively that's done in this movie, but I, th I feel like a lot of the criticism from fans, at least, is that it's not exactly the same as what they've seen prior. And I think that's kind of a nonsense uh, criticism. Because it shouldn't be. It should be something new. It should be something different. It should have. It should maintain its feel, and the ideas and all of that. But it shouldn't be directly what you were given before, because that would be incredibly uninteresting. Uh, yeah. But overall, I don't think it's a great movie. I don't think it's a bad movie. I think it's pretty much a solid like six out of ten. Like there's nothing special about it. But there are far worse things that you could watch. I've seen people saying that this is literally the worst movie they've ever seen. And to those people, I say, A, that's probably hyperbole. And B, if it isn't, you lead a charmed life. <laughs> because I have seen far, far worse than this. And I've seen a lot better as well. So my recommendation is, if you're not a fan of the anime, check out the Netflix movie. Um, I think you'll probably enjoy it, uh, um, at least to a certain degree. If you are a fan of the anime, you've probably already watched the movie, and uh, I would love to actually hear your opinion on what you thought of it. Uh, does it hold up to the anime, or is it like is it is it a pale imitation, or is it a different interpretation? Uh, so I think that's going to be about it for this time. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Clever Boys Prod. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment and a like, and that's it for this time.